My name is Dr. Noam Joseph, and I'm here at, at Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota, Florida. I'm facilitating a new and exciting collaboration with the Human and Machine Cognition Institute in Pensacola. We are collaborating and studying uh, the camouflage and behavior and the uh, prey and predator interaction between octopus and stone crabs here in the Bay of uh, Sarasota. So why do you need to study octopuses and stone crabs? What is going on between them? Octopuses are great predators. They are agile, they are smart, they are very capable, and they're love, they love to eat stone crabs. They're going after the, their stone crabs in the uh, stone crab traps. They're eating all the stone crabs, leaving very little for the community and for the stone crabbing uh, fishery. Uh, we're trying to find new and novel ways to address that uh, challenge. We're, we're trying to find novel ways and techniques to deter animals, deter octopuses from the stone crabs, leaving more stone crabs for the fishermen and less uh, octopus in their traps. What do you have to learn about an octopus to address this problem? How do you study this? Initially, we're going to start by documenting and quantifying the phenomenon by giving a good shots, video um, shots of the octopus entering and eating stone crabs in the stone crabs traps. Then we're going to try and address the design of the trap see how can we change it in order to prevent octopus from going after the stone crabs in them using both basic science and cutting edge technology in smart materials and uh, flexible electronics. We are trying to come up with a new and novel way of generating a camouflaging, artificial camouflaging unit which will be then integrated into various fields in the technology, defense, and wearables.